Film Festival promised at the start of the first festival that the top three films would get distribution. As it turns out, more than 80% of the 45 entries got distribution and will be seen by audiences in theaters and at home around the world. This is an unheard of uh, number. You know, it's, it's, it's very, very high in the world of, uh, of film festivals. Gender inequality in media is near and dear to Academy Award winning actress and festival co founder Gina Davis. My hope is that it becomes such a cachet to be in this festival that when people are creating their films, they'll say, hang on, if we made this more diverse, or if we gender balanced the cast, or if we hired a woman as the director, or something, you know, we could maybe qualify. For the Bentonville Film Festival. <laughs> BFF does have an advantage. Walmart is its founding sponsor. We've had a lot of discussions with filmmakers since the film since the festival has wrapped up and kind of guiding them and helping them through that process and learning how do they actually get their films from not just being shown at the festival but actually onto Walmart shelves. And new this year. Lifetime coming in and doing a script writing competition for us and committing to make that script a movie on Lifetime which is fantastic. We want to impact how people make the decisions uh, about who's going to be in front of and behind the camera. Throughout the year, the Bentonville Film Foundation will be launching a national series of events to promote women and minority filmmakers, artists, directors, and producers at AMC Theaters. This is a partnership with the Gina Davis Institute on Gender in Media. Kelly Johnson, 4029 News. Thank